Hello folks, the frill is here. Today, as you saw, it's too windy to fly outside. And Abby's first flight is gonna have to wait for a while. It's not worth taking a risk. So I'm gonna have to be patient. So in the meantime, I thought I'd go over a little bit of prop balancing. I balance all my propellers. I only buy propellers from Unique or the manufacturer for my specific drones or aircraft. Um, I use the Dubro prop balancer. It comes with its own prop balancing shaft and I'll show you how to use this in a second. And for my Q500 plus for these babies you can buy an adapter balancing rod for those. I got all my stuff here including the balancer from Carolina Drones. They got them in stock down there. Um, grab some coffee. Mm. <sighs> Why do I balance my props? Probably because I'm paranoid. Um, this is from a, an incident from about a month ago. However, with this prop spinning at the speed that they do, the centrifugal forces on the blade can result in the same scenario where the blade, if you have a small crack in the blade root down in here, can propagate and next thing you know you got a blade separation and the vibration, uh, I don't want to inflict my aircraft to that kind of damage. Out of balance props can also cause all kinds of camera issues. Uh, jello effect and numerous other things that we don't want to see. A lot of people think uh, you can end up calibrating the, the aircraft uh, with accelerometer calibrations, compass calibrations. You can do all that you want, but if you have propellers that are not balanced, you're going to end up with issues and in some cases damage. Flyability issues can also uh, uh, occur. Over time, the oscillations and the vibrations induced by out of balance propellers can cause all kinds of damage to circuit boards, circuits, components, and even lead to cracking of substantial airframe parts. So, let's get going here. With this particular style prop, I don't know if you can see that, with a hole for the H480 series. It comes with this prop shaft, like I say. We take and we put this through so that the hub mounts to this. It's got a backside balancer or a uh, hub mount. So you end up with something that pinches and centers the blade on the shaft. And then they have a little spring that goes on the end here. And then they have a little piece of, it's almost like rubber hosing, that's just smaller than the diameter of the shaft that you put over top and slide it down. It's a very snug fit. So it goes down against the spring and holds things centered. I just simply put it onto the table and I push it down so that I can press the spring. You don't have to go overly tight. And then with the balancer, for instance, I'm trying to turn it this way, I just put it on here and I just spin the prop a little bit. Now the heavier blade, if you got an out of balance situation, is going to go towards the bottom due to gravity. If you notice, in this case, with this propeller, we have an out-of-balance situation. You can bump it a little bit, bring it up, and it'll return to the normal because this blade is heavier than this one. Now, 95 to 98 percent of unique blades balance out perfectly. Uh, you see all the blades I have to balance here today. I've done these. These have all come out perfect. These are from an incident that I had uh, with my other H480, which is in the recovery room at the hospital in Unique in California, getting ready to come home in a few days. 
These look just fine. They have no nicks, they have no uh, cracks or any damage that I can see. Uh, however, I will never use them again. These are going to be for static display only. Um, to me, it's not worth taking a chance and dropping a $2,000 drone out of the sky because I was too cheap to buy extra propellers. So, at times, if you feel like you want to reuse propellers, do an inspection of them. I do an inspection every time before I fly anyway. And if I have any doubts, you can use a magnifying glass. If you're young, you probably don't have to. Um, so here we go. we got an out-of-balance situation going on with this propeller. There are several ways you can deal with it. Some people can put a layer of nail polish on the light blade up here. That'll balance it out. I personally don't like doing that. I use scotch tape. And I just use, in this case, that blade's not real heavy. Just a, about a half inch. Not a lot. And I'll put that on the heavier blade. Make sure I got the right blade. Okay, so I'll put this on the lighter blade, about three quarters of the way out. I don't know if you can see that, and we'll just see what it does. Pretty close. Sure, I'm not rubbing against the case at all, and that I'm actually seated. The Dubro prop balancer has two little wheels and two little wheels here that are on really fine bearings, which allows everything to spin real nice. So, this blade right now comes out pretty good, no more heavy. And you saw how little tape I had to put on there one layer, so that I was just rubbing on real good. Make sure it sticks. I've never had a situation where I've had tape come off in a flight, ever. Like I say, some people you may want to use nail polish or paint. Um, the problem with using nail polish is once you put it on and if it dries and you're not, if you're too heavy, now you end up making it difficult to get off or you got to counterbalance and put some on the other blade again. Tape you can just keep peeling back off and going back and forth. So this blade is now in balance. So we take, I have this Tupperware container here because a couple weeks ago I took it off and I dropped this and it bounced about 35,000 feet away from my table. And it took me a day or so to find it. I just drop everything into here and then so I don't get too screwed up I take a red permanent marker and I write B A L I probably can't see that just to give me an idea that hey I put this one through the process it is in balance there's no damage on it and I put that in the good to go pile so I do this with each of my blades before I ever go ahead and put them onto the aircraft and fly them. Um, I'm an AMP mechanic, certificated by the FAA. I've been playing in aviation for 30 years. We balance propellers on our big aircraft for the same reasons. Yes. Real light, just slide that on so it centers that blade up a little bit. That way you can see. And then we'll put it on here and give it a little spin. And just double check it, that one looks pretty good. Yeah, just 
is real nice. Maybe a tad bit heavy on that blade. Just make sure. Yeah, she is still going down, but not by very much. So we're going to put a quarter inch piece of tape on this light blade. And let's see what that does. Much better. Rub it down real good. Slide this off. Being careful not to lose the rubber piece. And then again, we put the marker right on here now. Awesome. So since it's so windy and we can't fly, it's a good day to do maintenance on our aircraft. Again, balancing aftermarket props, Chinese props. I bought 12 of these red props. Um, not real good. I only got four out of 12 to balance out. This is one of the ones that I got to balance out. I have four pieces of tape, scotch tape, an inch and a quarter long on here. It took a whole lot of tape to get this blade or this prop to come into balance. I do not have that situation with the unique propellers, not even close. I'm lucky if I have to put on a big blade like this, a big 13 inch blade, I'm lucky if I have to put a quarter inch or a half inch of tape on one out of 20. And even then, uh, I've had that many. You see the ones up here maybe, uh, not a big issue with the unique propellers. So if you want to take a risk, I thought these looked cool. Um, I now use them again just for static displays. Uh, great for photographing the thing which is sitting around. So beware of aftermarket propellers. I did before I balanced that one actually, I put a set of those on and the oscillations on the arms of the Q500 Plus was an eighth of an inch. So the whole arm was shaking back and forth on all four motors. I shut her down quick, pulled the blades, and discovered what happens when we try to go cheap and save a little money. Uh, props are cheap. The aircraft aren't. So. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped somebody out giving you a little bit of idea that props are not always balanced when they come from the manufacturers and beware of aftermarket props. You guys have a great day. Keep your stick on the ice.